guys, welcome back. I'm back with a build update video. Um, this is again a Sentry Smart Cover build video. Um, I've done two of these before, but this time I'm going to be presenting you the optimum or the best setup that I probably will ever have. Um, so I made a video about this setup two month, uh, one, a month ago, I believe, like 25 days ago. And then I did another uh, setup on this, talking a bit more in detail. Um, and now I've completed the build. The first time I've done this, my smart cover was at 67%. And then it went up to like 71, 72. So it, the build sort of evolved as I was putting out new videos. But I just want to share you guys the, uh, the latest and the greatest builds I can put together. That's why we're taking a, another look at this build. Um, so basically, we're trying to aim for... Um, a smart cover, max smart cover with this build while utilizing as low skill power as possible and what I could come up with is 40k um, that is just with one electronic piece and just skill power on the mask, on the backpack and skill power on the mods it just comes up to around 40k and that is actually quite decent but the smart cover itself caps out at 53,000 so it's, it's a bit challenging to cap out the smart cover at 40k skill power, but uh, you can uh, you can manage it if you really have the the time to farm and the luck to get the drops you want. Then you can have this build because it took me a lot of time. As I said, I first um, put this build together a month ago. You can go back um, and sort of find those videos. Um, and now. It's been a month since I completed this build because when I first put it together it was really not that good. But the idea was there and now it's complete. Anyways, um, too much rambling. Let's just dive into the build. We have a vigorous chest piece. This allows us to get overheal from the booster shot. Um, combining it with the smart cover that is quite decent. Like gives me 90% all damage resilience. Because uh, it stacks additively with booster shot, uh, with smart cover. So if you have 75 on the smart cover, you pop the booster, uh, you get up to 90% because it's a 15% it's a addition. Um, also, the sweet thing about the booster shot, it, it's that it also almost completely counters trapper. So when somebody uses trapper on you, um, your smart cover, I mean on your smart cover, um, you're going to get 20% minus um, damage resistance and 10% uh, minus or negative damage or damage decrease but uh, booster shot gives me 15% damage resistance meaning that only 5% of the trapper is applied and also uh, trapper reduces my uh, damage up by 10% on uh, on the smart cover but the booster shot gives me 15% so I'm still at the um, positive damage output there as well um, basically so we have vigorous most important note about this build is this build works if you have the right pieces i mean by right pieces i mean you need to have um, the right skill attributes which one of them is smart cover damage resilience correct um, this can roll on your backpack on your knee pads on your vest and you have to get it on there if you really want to build a really optimized um, smart cover sentry skull setup. Alright, so we have smart cover damage resilience on the chest piece, then we have skill power mods. Mask is um, mediocre, really high stats, but the skill power is 5.1k. This can roll up to, I believe, I believe this can roll up to like um, 5.6. So we're missing a little skill power there, but that's not a big deal. And then on the knee pads, we have critical hit damage, high stats, and again, smart cover damage resilience. And even percentage here can matter. This can roll anything between, uh, this can roll either 3% or 3.5. Getting the max roll here is quite important because just like armor with the smart cover resilience, the most important percentage is, um, is the last one. Um, the last couple percentage they are the most important 74% um, 
like let's say you have a 75 70% uh, resistance smart cover and somebody has a 75% resistance smart cover you are taking 20% more damage than he takes it's it's a big difference all in all uh, and that difference just becomes bigger as you stack the damage resistance more with the booster shot so um, all right the backpack smart cover resilience really high skill power decentish firearms not that good somebody in my group shooting me I don't like people who just randomly join in anyways um skill power and smart cover resilience and this this is the key here skill power and smart cover damage resilience performance mod why the fuck would anyone use a performance mod you may ask because they work only in this scenario if you can get one with skill power and smart cover resilience which, ab which is absolutely a pain in the ass to get I crafted over 300 performance mods but didn't get it then uh, a friend somehow got this drop in dragon nest farming and he was kind enough to give it to me so I got lucky there with this drop I only got one and this is like my everything here skill power and smart cover damage resistance it is really important to um, to have this how big of an effect does it have let me let me show you right now my smart cover um, <laughs> he says fuck you right now my smart cover sits at 69.9 that is not even close to max like we have 5% to go but when I when I use this beauty here and uh, bam we have max smart cover so this is a great piece of mod um, performance mods you definitely want to look for the, one of these I think these are absolutely gorgeous if you can find one like this maybe like most likely if you're farmed at easy lot you got one of these exact uh, creepy woman you got one of these exact uh, mods but you probably deconstructed it because you thought it was crappy next time if you get something like this with skill power and smart cover resilience don't throw it away um, so that is our on our backpack on the gloves we have pretty godly gloves with smart cover damage increase then quite nice holster yeah it is it is a decent holster I would say so that is pretty much about the setup this puts me at 40,251 skill power completely capped smart cover um, as far as weapons con are concerned, I'm using um, a Solcom M1A with Brutal, Deadly and Capable and then an M870 with Brutal, Responsive and Accurate and it really works out quite well so with the booster shot and the smart cover the stats, I mean 200k DPS on the M1A but if I pop the smart cover and the booster shot we have it's not working properly for some reason huh. I don't know the numbers seem different okay so smart cover booster yeah um, 378,000 DPS um, with fully buffed as well as 90% all damage resilience so this is my final build guys I don't know if you're gonna find this helpful or just a crappy video it doesn't really matter I just wanted to share it because a lot of people have been asking about it and um, this is the most updated version probably the best version I'll ever get I'd, ideally I would go a bit more um, focused on stamina and drop firearms a bit but I just don't have the pieces for it Anyways guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. This is the build. See you on the next one.